and welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica Fit Beauty. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you will subscribe. If you're coming back, welcome back. We are concluding, well, almost concluding, the majority of all of my Halloween looks. And this one, I think, takes the horn. Unicorn horn, that is. I am going to be creating this white mystical iridescent unicorn. Not hollow, but iridescent. So if you guys want to see this look, go ahead and watch. So first up, we have foundation. I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which I love. And then we're gonna go into concealer and I'm gonna use NARS. You will notice I have my horn on here and then all of a sudden I don't have my horn on because I decided I didn't want it on and I wanted something to like build up into the horn so it looked like it was really protruding out of my head. I used cotton and latex to create a little circle around the circumference of the horn. And then I took the flat part of this spatula and I just really flattened it in letting the hump kind of go up. Then I went back in with the spirit gum and attached the horn. Voila. That was it. Then I let it dry. Once it was dry, I went in with my Makeup Forever Flash palette and I took the white from the palette, which is the cream white, and I just went ahead and picked put this all around the entire horn and then just kind of blended it in and blended it out. Once that was done, I went in with this Wet n Wild. It's their Fantasy Makers, like white pearlescent stuff. I don't know how to explain it. And I put that all around and then I went in with this glitter as well. This is from Tony and Tina. If anybody remembers Tony and Tina, shout out to you. It's old school. I've had this glitter forever. Then I went in with Makeup Geek cupcake in the crease as my transition shade then went in with the my little pony palette purple shade and i used this on the outer v and then i slowly just kept building it up here's the key word in all of my halloween tutorials i slowly keep building it up <laughs> and i was using a royal and nickel crease brush to do this and after i got it kind of built up to the look i wanted to i started taking it out to the temple i just really wanted this look to kind of cascade out and look ethereal and beautiful and soft and so starting with the purple i just kind of worked that out until i got it to the color in which I wanted it. And I went back in with the cupcake to really blend everything in so everything looked seamless. And I even did this on the outer part where the purple was. Then I went in with Makeup Geek Pegasus and taking a flat brush that was sprayed just a tiny bit with MAC Fix Plus, I put that on the inner corner of the eye. Then I went in with Makeup Geek Black Light and I put that in the center out to where the outer V was and kind of blended it all in. Went back in with a little bit more purple and just really blended and made sure everything Thing looked seamless on the eye and I really loved how this turned out actually so then I went in with the Bunder London eye glaze and eye gloss that's a mouthful and I use this as highlighter it's actually in the color unicorn so couldn't be any more perfect and I even put it on the forehead because I felt like the forehead was just a little naked and needed a little bit more and besides I mean come on a unicorn's gonna glow right and then using the Doll Beauty eyeliner. It's a black felt liner and I just kind of aligned the eyes and did a small little wing. Then I went back in with the purple and cupcake and did the under part of the eye. Then I went in with a Makeup Geek blush and I'm going so fast here and a Makeup Geek contour and again all that will be listed down below in the description box. Then I went in with a jewel and using a the Duo Lash Adhesive, which by the way, I also have lashes already on. They are Eyelura Lashes. And these jewels are from Michaels. I just kind of created a little design in my head. I wasn't really sure where I was going with this. I wanted some on top of the eye to kind of give it bling. And then I just created like a half circle look and then took a really big gem and put that in the middle. I was actually pleasantly surprised with how this looked. I really liked how it kind of came together. Then took some small gems, again from Michaels, and using the eyelash glue, and was really careful not to get the eyelash glue in the hairs of my brow, and put about five small gems underneath. Then here I used actually spirit gum, and applied the gems because I would really want these to stay, especially for an evening out. And I just created like some sort of design. I, I wasn't really sure where I was going with it. I just kind of enjoyed it and was just deciding what I wanted it to look like. And I really liked how this looked like a necklace, but it was like permanent and it just looked really cool. And I don't mean like permanent forever, but permanent for the night, right? <laughs> then I went back in with that Fantasy Makers 
highlighter and I put it all over my chest. Then going in with the My Little Pony Collection Rainbow Dash Lip Gloss, I put this all over my lips. Then this is something I found at Ulta. I thought it was really cute. Of course, my daughter was like, yes, it's so totally, totally, totally unicorn. And I used this to actually help kind of blend in where this cheap wig, which by the way, this wig is from Amazon. And you guys, that is it for this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye. Oh, this is so cool.